So the first part is you open your Corel Draw, type in the word you want, in this case logo, get it to a bit of a bigger size so you can see it, change the font to what you want, and uh, now the next point, next step you have to do is to go and view it as a wireframe. Then you can see the little overlaps of the letters that, uh, depending on the font you've chosen. Convert the whole thing to curves. And now if you look at the curve, we'll look at it a little closer, you'll see where the overlaps are. The O and the G and the next O. If you take the entire curve, and break it apart. You break the curve apart there. You now have a whole lot of individual curves and you can now select pieces of them. So if you open up your um, under Windows, your panels on the side and you use the shaping, you see there's weld. Now you select the outline of the first O and you weld it to the G outline and then you weld the outline of the G to the outline of the second O. That's now one piece. Now you still need the whole thing to be a curve again so select everything and just go back and use the combine tool that becomes a single curve again. It's quite straightforward and there's no overlaps. Now you export it Use the AI export and you'll see it must be to Adobe Illustrator 8 and the other settings on the screen here. Go to your um, EasyCAD program, open a new file and import vector file with the name of the file you've just saved. Bring it in. And there it is all in one piece. Now when you go to Hatch, you can obviously select your settings, but these are the settings I use. I would suggest the, the line space probably be a little bit less than that, maybe 0.05, depending on the material you're using. Smaller line space is tighter. And there's your Hatch. All done and ready to engrave on your perfect laser fiber.